Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe. God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now, that the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light of the cosmos.
Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe. God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now, that the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light of the cosmos. Actually, see the source of all light is in the eye.